The title is Focus Representation and Backward and the Specification of Independent Types. Okay, I will be in my presentation uh, with this title. And uh, the presentation is uh, structured as follows. Uh, firstly, I will explain the background and the question. Uh, the main topics of the presentation is program and question answer conference, uh, which are central in question semantics and uh, also equal for logic guided chatbots. The larger point is uh, just my process. Though. And uh, I have proposed a method to represent progress information and an analysis of which covers questions in standard mathematics. Okay, uh, next, uh, I'll explain UPS. Dependent type semantics is a framework of natural language semantics based on natural language type theory. And the key item is under specified terms in the presentation. And Masoksan said, uh, the specified types uh, and uh, specified terms is our older version of uh, specified types. Okay, um, here uh, this shows uh, how uh, specified terms work. Suppose uh, someone say that John Doe does student dance. It is presupposed that student dance, and in DDS, uh, the first sentence is represented as follows. And uh, the aspirant sign in the representation is um, as a specified term. And this sign requires the previous context, uh, so common ground to enter the student dance. So uh, that practical preservation is predicted. And this is a uh, general explanation. And for questions in DBS, questions are addressed by Matanabe and others. Uh, in their analysis, uh, direct questions are represented as big C types, uh, which is a variant of potential quantification. So, for example, John Dunn uh, is represented as follows. And uh, informally, a response each and their sum of Dunn is predicted to be a Callisto's answer regardless of focus. So, uh, including the analysis uh, um, in DDS, uh, focus is not covered. So, uh, this is the motivation for uh, my research. Okay, and um, as a starting point for uh, starting point towers uh, focus representation in dependent tax semantics, I consider relatively simple examples uh, shown here, uh, which includes uh, seeing average questions and multiple average questions and phrase of focus and uh, answers with a correct expression. And uh, there are many untouched topics. And these are also important, but uh, and, um, simultaneously complicated. So I decided, uh, I have decided to set them aside. And, okay. Um, by the way, uh, in former semantics, 
uh, alternative semantics is a standard approach to focus in uh, so and so there are two opinion uh, two options so the one is to translate alternative semantics into BDS language and the other is to explore a unique approach to BDS and the latter things were challenging to me so I decided to resolve and uh, let's uh, now turn to my proposal. Uh, the first is progress context, and which are uh, sequences of type assignments which represent progress information. And the second is a uh, work on specified terms uh, which represent gaps in direct questions which are expected to be filled by an answer. Uh, now, let, uh, firstly, let's see uh, focus contexts. Focus contexts are a sequence of type assignments which corresponds to uh, focus elements. So, for example, uh, in the sentence, John likes Mary, if the subject John is uh, focused, uh, then the focus context for the sentence is as follows, and it contains the type assignment it says. The constant J is a type entity. And in the sentence, um, if likes Mary is focused, uh, then uh, focus, the focus context for the sentence is uh, as follows. And it contains uh, two, the, uh, these two type assignments. Um, the first one says that uh, the constant like is a type entity type. And the second one is uh, the second one says that, that the constant M is a type entity. Yeah. And uh, focus context for each sentence are uh, obtained in parallel with semantic expression. And uh, in, the in this study, uh, I adopt combinatory categorical grammar as the syntactic component. So uh, the semantic composition equals to uh, CC derivations. Yeah. And to derive focus context, uh, I add this for LC, uh, which is uh, focus context to CC directional entries. And um, each lexicon is assigned different focus context depending on whether it appears in a focus constant or not. So, for example, um, uh, and then um, there are at least two lexical lexical entries for uh, single words such as John and like. And um, for John in a forecast constant, um, the lexical entry has the type assignment about the constant J and <clears throat> If John is not uh, not in a uh, focused constant, uh, the focused context for the world is uh, empty sequence of type assignments. Okay. And this is a, a CCD derivation for uh, the sentence John Dax Mary, in which the subject John is focused. Um, in this case, uh, only the subject John is focused, so uh, the word ha is assigned to the uh, specific um, non empty type assignment, and other elements ha is assigned to the empty, uh, empty sequence of type assignment. Um, so, and um, mm, the focus context at the bottom is uh, the focus context for the uh, things to index memory. And um, the context are merged in time with the uh, derivation. Uh, this is the summary. And let's see, uh, uh, let's see in the case of greater focus. And since uh, Matt and Mary are focused, so uh, uh, 
met with uh, assigned in the uh, this focus context and Mary is assigned this focus context. And John is not focused, so uh, it is assigned um, to empty sequence. And as a result, uh, we get uh, this sequence of type assignment uh, for the sense and don't make memory. <clears throat> okay, uh, next, uh, let's see what are the specified terms. It represents gaps in the questions. Uh, the basic idea is that the meaning of the question has an unsolved term. And backward and the specified terms represent the unsolvable term. And I do not intend to propose an um, alternative to ordinary and specified terms, but an additional one. Okay, let's see an um, example. Uh, the sentence who does John like uh, is assigned uh, the following semantic representation and the following focus context. And uh, the sign aspirant B is a uh, backward and specified term. And um, in a standard DBS setting, um, if, uh, if an utterance is performed, uh, the semantic representation for the utterance is uh, checked whether it is uh, well typed or not. But uh, if a uh, if the semantic representation contains a backward and specified term, uh, the type checking is postponed until the progress context of the response field the gap. And uh, let's see how the uh, how backward and specified terms work. Suppose uh, the question who does John like is uttered, and uh, the response John likes Mary, in which the uh, object Mary is focused, uh, are given. Then our uh, first key, the aspirant B triggered a proof search uh, for a term of type entity. And uh, the focus context for the response has a uh, type assignment. This case, M is a type entity. <clears throat> so, secondly, uh, the focus uh, for uh, aspirant B is replaced uh, by uh, the constant M. So uh, the process is called uh, aspirant B elimination. And finally, uh, we judge uh, whether the semantic representation for the response entails uh, the uh, eliminated representation for the question or not. And if the eliminate, uh, or, uh, if the entailment holds, uh, the response uh, is predicted to be a uh, congruent answer. Okay, this is the uh, formal definition of congruence in dependent semantics uh, I proposed. And uh, the first condition says uh, the semantic representation for uh, response must uh, entail the semantic representation for the question. And the second, the second condition says that uh, for semantic representation for the question to be eliminated, all type assignments in the focus context for the uh, for the response is necessary. The second condition serves uh, serves to uh, rule out uh, over focus. Okay, uh, uh, this is an example of over focusing, and the suppose that the question is that who does John like and the response is that John likes Mary, and um, the subject is focused and an object is also focused. In that case, um, uh, so to an um, um, a uh, uh, congruent answer uh, should um, have the focus pattern um, in which uh, John is not focused. So there, uh, there happens over-focusing. 
And these tendencies uh, are assigned uh, these representations. And first, the um, first search is uh, uh, the first search is very good, and um, the progress context contains these two type assignments. So um, if M, uh, uh, if the process uh, find um, the constant M, um, we get the following representation XJM. Um, but in, in this case, um, at least one type of assignment is uh, unnecessary for uh, aspect B elimination. So the prediction is incongruent. So that's correct. And the next, uh, this is an example of a single pair answer to um, the multiple average question. <clears throat> um, in this case, um, the uh, congruent answer must uh, take the following of its pattern. So this is a uh, congruent case, and the representations uh, follows, and um, all all process uh, performance successfully. So the prediction is congruent, and that works. <clears throat> Okay, and the next is an example of answers with apparent expressions such as John likes him and him is forecast. Um, in this case, uh, the semantic representation for the for the response has uh, under specified term, uh, ordinary under specified term, and progress context contains um, the type of, type assignment about. Uh, the ordinary the space by terms. Here uh, the first uh, possibly uh, this ordinary and the space by the term previous uh, first search um, in previous context and some term of type entity is uh, found then <clears throat> uh, as the elimination uh, this is what Masoka san said. Uh, uh, Masoka san referred as uh, as to land resolution. Um, and then we get the following representations. And the remaining procedures are the same as non correct examples. Okay. Uh, and they, the prediction is congruent and that works. Okay. <clears throat> So far, uh, we have seen only successful examples, but uh, recently I have noticed that there is few errors in my analysis. And the first is under generation. And the, uh, the current analysis cannot capture a pair list answer to a multiple number of questions. Um, for example, the response is John likes Mary and Carol likes Susan. Um, and in this case, the purpose context uh, for the response has uh, four type assignments, uh, but um, only two type assignments uh, are necessary for the representation to be aspirant B eliminated. So the prediction is incongruent, and that's not correct. Okay, um, at this point is, uh, uh, this is pointed out by the professor. Thank you. And next is over generation. Uh, the point is that uh, focus context lacks positional information. So uh, for example, the response John likes Mary, and Mary is told, and uh, in which Mary is forecast, but uh, this Mary is irrelevant to the question. But uh, uh, our focus context is uh, uh, does not have information about uh, where the constant M is from. So, 
our uh, my, my analysis yields the incorrect prediction. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is the summary of my talk. And I have proposed uh, focus context and drug and the specified terms. And there are many, many uh, future tasks, and such as avoiding over, um, over and under generation and comparison with other systems and answers with configuration expressions, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that's what I think. So, um, okay. so, if you have a question, please come on. Okay. So, thank you for the talk. It was really interesting. And this question out of curiosity did you have any thought on distinguishing time for plurals and singular? Because you have some diverges like which, which is sensitive to like. Number and I wonder, like that extension to include plurals, might have some hint to analyze the Alice answers as well because you are dealing with like pluralities of you know, which is all proven. What, yeah, sorry, I don't have um, some uh, specific answer, but uh, um, I should think about it later. Thank you. Uh, also, can you show the slide where you have a derivation for focus context when the uh, the verb phrase like spire is focused? Yeah, yeah, um, yes, yeah, this one. So why why do you have separate uh, items in the focus like separately meet and separately marry? Why 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 not they not combined? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, that's a very uh, important point. But uh, my in this setting, uh, the situation you mentioned uh, cannot be represented uh, differently. So uh, some revision is needed. I think. Uh, I am. Uh, uh, it should have uh, it will have the same representation if we separately focus me and Mary, then we get the same thing, but it, it shouldn't be right. I mean, Sorry. so here we have the uh, the whole verb phrase focused in Mary, right? Yeah, uh, and as you uh. But if we separately have focus on met, separately the folks on Mary, we'll get the same thing. Ah, oh, the same same product context. Uh -huh. uh, and it, it, so, it, uh, it doesn't look right. Okay. Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, the, pro uh, the definition of focus context is uh, too naive um, for now. Yeah, I agree with you. Any other questions? No. Um, so this might be a very nice question, but um, can you handle the, the answer with quantifier, like who does John like? Likes everybody or nobody. Yeah, uh, it's one of my future tasks. And but uh, I guess um, <coughs> yeah, so uh, I um, yeah, um, I think uh. It is not clear how to represent uh, the focus context um, for the sentence which contains some qualification expression. Um, that's what we're yeah. here. Thank you.
Thank you for your talk. And uh, I, I'm just the uh, I'm I'm not sure this is a question for this question or not. Uh, for example, let's take an example like uh, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? I, I saw a friend of mine. So in this case, so a friend of mine is in, in focus, right? And the uh, you you said you said that the, the um, fo focus uh, structure is encoded in the, the lexicon, right? And the how the how will you get the uh, kind of uh, how do you say uh, ET type or property type focus by 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 means of the uh, focus information on the uh, words. Yeah, thank you. Um, if uh, the question about uh, such cases. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <coughs> once the focus context uh, like that is uh, obtained. Um, we can derive that, uh, for example, means M is of type B to type. So uh, the rest is. Uh, my, uh, my example is I uh, met a friend of mine. It's a, a uh, more complicated example, just male, uh, met male. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, no, uh, the focus context. For each world is just merged. Yeah, but the uh, kind of it's um, inconceivable. Uh, how, for example, the term uh, uh, has a uh, focus information incorporated. Mm -hmm. Can you make it into a unary rule that can, can be applied to a computer language rather than words? Um, um, I'm going to the question. And it's actually similar for like a follow up to his question as well, because I was thinking, wondering if you can have some focus on proportional type or something, because you have something called broad focus. You have to say, what happened? Well, like my friend messed up the dinner, something. And that is a, the whole proposition is an answer for what happened as a like say for explanation of something. And maybe having that kind of thing might be helpful to model all the questions and all the other questions, because what you will get is like P and not P for all the questions and all the list you. I think you um, <clears throat> uh, is your question about uh, the case of in which the tennis as a whole is focused. Yeah, and it's, so it's more like a comment, I think. Like, there's a it's not insane to say you can't focus, but focus on the entire sentence. And then, if that's possible, then it's straightforward option to analyze all the questions and like those non constant non constant questions. Mm, yes, so um, I don't have any idea, uh, but mm, um, I guess uh, that there is no consensus about uh, the, the corresponding of the uh, answers to all the questions. Right? So, uh, <laughs> I'm interested to touch uh, the type of question. Okay, we have one, one minute. So let's start the skip again. <laughs> 